What's up, my boomers? It's me, Melanie Mack, here on my social commentary, Melanie Mack Go Boom. Thank you all so much for hanging out with me today. So I'm going to talk about all this stuff that Dead by Daylight dropped by shoehorning a gay character into their game. Now, before I even further this discussion, let it be known, I am fully about and support them adding gay characters to their games. Any game, really, where, it, yeah, but in this case, in this case, this is complete shoehorning, and it's wanting woke points without any effort, and it's honestly insulting to, in my opinion, the gay community even, but, um, let's go ahead and just dive into this. I just saw it yesterday. I mean, granted, this, uh, was like two days ago. I only saw it yesterday because my nephew was born just a couple days ago So it's been a very hectic time for me a uh, very exciting and hectic time, but yeah So here it is. This is our tweet. They said David King is among the central characters of our brand new tome But he is also the first a first step toward more representation dead by daylight learn more now This is what they said here that one of the cornerstones of our vast and diverse community our, are our LGBTQIA2+. They added a 2. Um, I don't know what that is. Okay. Who continue to elevate Dead by Daylight with their tireless passion for horror gaming and, of course, horror gaming. The fact that our character roster did not feature any LGBTQIA2 plus representation was something we were determined to change. Upon consulting with extensive, uh, consulting upon, or <laughs> upon consulting extensively with the Gamer X organization who shared their expertise at integrating LGBTQIA2 plus themes into established games, we felt confident in our chosen direction. Today, we're pleased to confirm that Dead by Daylight can officially celebrate the game's first character, uh, first gay character, David King, all right? Now, here's the thing though, right? David King, this character, now I've dabbled in Day Dead by Daylight, but I'm no like super, um, I'm not super knowledgeable in it, but I will say, uh, for to my understanding, David King dropped in 2017, okay? So for him to be their first gay character that they're just announcing now, what that says to me and what all of this says to me is, hey guys, we really wanted some woke points. We really wanted to reach out to get some woke points, but we didn't want to have to put in all the effort that it takes to design and, and animate and voice act and create a brand new character that can be gay. No, we just thought it would, we, we just thought, why not take an existing character, throw on some lore, uh, arbitrary lore to him and call it a day and get the articles written about it, get the retweets, get the quote tweets, get the points that we want to get without putting any work into it. That's what this reads like to me. Okay. Oh, released in 2016. Okay. How anybody can celebrate this and not feel insulted is beyond me. Uh, because it's like, dude, this is insulting to, to the LGBT community, in my opinion. It's insulting that they say, hey guys, we can't, we're not, we're not bothered enough and we don't give to enough craps to actually put in effort into creating a new character that's going to represent, uh, you, the community. Instead, we're just going to slap some new lore on onto an existing character you know it just makes things easy and they don't have to put in any effort and they get the points for it that's just so insulting in my opinion i would i would think and i'd be curious to know what more people from the lgbt community uh i'd be curious to know what they think because obviously i don't i'm not representative there but yeah this is this is lazy. It's lazy and it's wanting points and it's wanting credit. And it's wanting a pat on the back for being lazy. Uh, this is finally coming out of the locker. <laughs> now I will admit that's <laughs> funny. Um, 
I'm not trying to sound rude, but why is this a good thing? If he is gay, so what? Man, this sounds so rude. I think, sorry, is what this guy says. Having any of the characters labeled with the sexuality leaves room for issues in the game for anyone. As a bi person, I strongly believe that leaving these characters open for interpretation is what is best. It's a horror game. We don't care about their sexual preferences. Okay, I'm not going to say anything about my namesake this time. We love to see representation, says Nerf. Um, I hope they keep announcing character sexualities in procedurally more and more grandiose ways until they're like effing Smash Bros character reveals. <laughs> oh my gosh. Now, there was one comment I saw. Oh, there's a two in there. That's what I was curious about. What the what does two stand for? I've never heard it until this. What's the two plus for exactly? What has been added? To, uh, someone says made up two spirit. Two spirit is a modern. Oh, it's like an Indian term. Is it India Indian or like native? Uh, First Nations native. Yeah, I thought so because I thought I've heard of that. I mean, I'm part native, so. <laughs> um. To describe communities who fulfill traditional third gender. Okay, I thought the third gender was non-binary, but two-spirit. Um, yeah, I'm not exactly sure what that stands for, but okay. Now they're adding that. Um, all right. Now, nah, this is actually beautiful. It means a lot to many people. Good on you, says Elu. Um, I did see one comment from a gay guy who said pretty much what I agree with in that, why didn't you make a new character for us? <laughs> oh my gosh, period. <laughs> oh my gosh, that's funny. Um, I mean, some people seem happy about this. I, I personally think this is a really lazy way for them to try to get some points. I think they should have put in the effort to actually make a new character. And, the, and, and then they can announce them in the way that they wanted. But I think this is lazy. I think this is trying to get points and uh, without any effort at all. Uh, that's what I personally think. Let's check out some of the quote tweets. That's usually where you see stuff. Well, this certainly... <laughs> okay, Jean says, Unless the character's sexuality is going to factor into the story in some way, what does it matter? Why must you make a grand announcement about sexual orientation? Um, okay. And... When they had a number two at the end, that's what I was so curious about. I was like, wait a minute. Tip, I can't... Oh my gosh. Well, some people are happy about it. I'm glad some are, but at the end of the day, uh, yeah, this is lazy. This is lazy and all it is is pandering for points. All it is. Uh, if they actually cared, they would have created a new character, period. Uh, that's just, that's my opinion. But let me go ahead and go into some recent comments. For some of my recent videos, Bohemian Carpenter says 10 at 10.30. Yeah, this is the reason I just won't engage with the left anymore. And that was when um, was, I was talking about like some hypocrisy with the gaslighting that they do. They march in lockstep and refuse to engage with any kind of honesty. At first, they will deny any example you give. Then they refuse to see the examples you give. After that, they ask you for you to clarify to an absurd level. And if you do all that, they will switch to saying it's a good thing. Knowing all along what you were talking about, I'm done with the woke left. Madmaster Porky says, not only is it a female cat, this is about the girl marrying her cat, but it's also disabled. We're really going for maximum inclusivity here. <laughs> Nameless Minion says, you know... This is kind of weird, but as a dog daddy, I totally get it. I'd do anything for my two little girls. And, you know, that's what I said in my video, too. Like, <laughs> yes, it's weird. Is it disrespectful to the concept and the sanctity of marriage? Yes. But if I were in a position to where that was my only option was to get rid of my cat or marry my cat so I could keep them, I'd be marrying my cat. <laughs> Jose says, my youngest son laughs and said, that's airplane girl's head <laughs> from my logo. I love it. Jose, tell your son I said hi. <laughs> that's hilarious. 
Uh, Galford's dog says, I'm 33 years old. I'm currently just an uncle. My uncle was almost 50 when he had his daughter and parenthood is just as fulfilling for him as it is for anyone. I know social pressures are a little different for women, but kids forever attached to you to someone. You want to make sure it's the right person. Imagine how Johnny would feel if he had kids with Amber Turd. Exactly. And this is one thing why I don't like the whole notion from, and honestly, you see this from like far right, especially um is this pressure that that and this this whole like blanket statement of women all women first of all they say all women should have kids basically and they also say all women need to have kids in their early 20s by late 20s at the latest um I just think that's an absolute ridiculous blanket statement to make first of all I don't think every person should have kids um that's my opinion um because I think that people having kids is such a serious ordeal i mean you're literally raising the next generation now you'd like to see good people have kids because you want to see society improve and all that but uh clearly clearly there are many people who aren't fit to be parents so i do i am not of the belief that every single person should be a parent not even remotely close to thinking that moreover i also think when it comes to any type of extreme or not even extremes when it comes to any type of blanket statements is that they usually don't apply uh in general because you can't just that th you can't put an absolute on that you can't put an absolute on every woman should have kids in her 20s you don't know everybody's life and unlike galford said here when you have children with someone you're attached to that person and in an ideal scenario children are going to have both of their parents in the family i mean that's the that's the ideal situation right so if somebody hasn't found that perfect person that they see fit to be a parent to their kid then they shouldn't have kids with them period um so yeah that's how i feel about it uh yeah that's my opinion all right bob says if you're gonna marry a cat make sure it's a cat with money so if you lose your job you can still make rent <laughs> Oh, this is a comment I was looking for uh, about the Dead by Daylight topic. This was on Twitter. It wasn't replying to me. Um, Joshi says, give us a new character, even one that in their own canon is LGBTQIA, instead of retconning an existing character's entire lore to fill a quota. That's exactly how I feel as well. I agree with Joshi on this. I feel like what they've done is they've scoured every single one of their characters. Hmm, which one of these can we make gay? Boom. All right. David King. Let's go. Send it. Give us the points. All right. Macy on says congrats on becoming an aunt. That is awesome. Also, would you happen to have a recipe for those chicken enchiladas? Uh, I do. Uh, I'll post it in the description. Um, I modified it though. Um, yeah, I modified it and changed some things, but I'll, I'll post it in the description of this video. I hope I don't forget. Um, all right, <laughs> so let me go ahead and go to the verse of the day as I do. Ah, uh, this is a little more than just one little verse. There's a reason why I'll, I'll go into it more, but this is, a uh, you know, talk, uh, revolving around the Pharisees. Matthew 15 here. I'm not going to read this whole chapter, but I'm going to read a bit of it. Um, Y'all know how I feel about the Pharisees. I feel like there, there's, I mean, obviously Jesus didn't like them. They were hypocritical and, um all that and i i very much think that we see modern day, day pharisees even in society today and i'm totally against that let me just go ahead and read this it says then some pharisees and teachers of the law came to jesus from jerusalem and asked why do your disciples break the tradition of the elders they don't wash their hands before they eat Jesus replied, and why do you break the command of God for the sake of your tradition? For God said, honor your father and mother, and anyone who curses their father or mother is put to death, uh, is to be put to death. But you say that if anyone declares that what might have been used to help their father or mother is devoted to God, they are not to, to honor their father or mother with it. Thus, you nullify the word of God for the sake of your tradition, you hypocrites. Isaiah was right when he prophesied about you. These people honor me with their lips, but their hearts are far from me. They worship me in vain. Their teachings are merely human rules. More like virtue signaling stuff. We see this with even non-religious people on social media all the time. Just like virtue signaling. And that's what the Pharisees were, in my opinion. It was just a bunch of virtue signalers who made themselves feel holy. 
um, by how much they could follow the law when they were really um, being extremely hypocritical. Um, all right. And so uh, Jesus called the crowd to him and said, listen and understand what goes into someone's mouth does not defile him, but what comes out of their mouth, that is what defiles them. And I really like this because it's just like, uh, there's reminds me of another verse, I, I believe that said something to the effect of um, out of wait from the heart the mouth speaks so things that you speak and things that you say i mean that's a reflection of your heart and so um you know that's why this applies is that what comes out of our mouths and things that we say and and also our actions and stuff like that like that's and that's within our hearts and the bible is very clear that when we sin it's not because of some outside stimulus that makes us sin sin comes from our hearts and from the desire uh in the first place and we sometimes outside temptation will bring that out of us but the desire was there in the first place or we wouldn't do it and we're human so sin is in our nature and now everybody is going to have different struggles and different sin that they struggle with um than the other but yeah same you know the concept still stands uh then the disciples came to him and asked do you know that the pharisees were offended when they heard this because of course of course offended he replied, every plant that my heavenly father has not planted will be pulled up by the roots. Leave them. They are blind guides. If the blind lead the blind, both will fall into a pit. Peter said, explain the parable to us. I love, I love this so much. Jesus goes, are you still so dull? I like, I want to use this in my day-to-day -day vernacular. Also, obviously, the original Hebrew translation, I'd be curious to know exactly what that was. But, because I know the ESV changes it a little bit. I typically read ESV, but I made it NIV this time because I love how this is said. Are you so dull? Are you dull? Are you dense? <laughs> Jesus asked him, don't you see whatever enters the mouth goes into the stomach and then out of the body? But the things that come out of a person's mouth come from the heart and these defile them. For out of the heart come evil thoughts, murder, adultery, sexual immortality, or immorality, <laughs> theft, false testimony, slander, these are what defile a person, but eating with unwashed hands does not defile them. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So eloquently said. Um, all right. So that's it for today's video. Please let me know what you think in the comments below. Thank you all so much for watching. I really appreciate all of you. All right. So <laughs> I don't know. I'm just happy today. Where's my Zoe? Where's my baby girl? Baby girl? Come here. Where's she at? I just got her from the pet boarding today. And I am so freaking stoked. I missed her because like, my nephew was born. I was going to show her to y'all, but Zoe. Come here, baby girl. Come here. I don't know what she's doing. She's probably asleep. Anyway, I'll have to show her in another video. But thank you all so much for watching. I'll see you again tomorrow. And in the meantime, go boom. I'm